All right, head coach EJ Mills previewing Amherst's homecoming game against Wesleyan. Coach, talk about the excitement, the atmosphere at a homecoming game. Yeah, you know, you, you, obviously it's great when uh, you know we get a great crowd and and we get a lot of the alums back, and it's it's um, so it's an exciting atmosphere. Um, but this, hey, this is a big game. It's a little three game, a lot of tradition, uh, and our team's excited to play. Um, you know, disappointed uh, about last week, and and so. We're, you know, we're just excited to get back out on the field and, and uh, um, you know, hopefully uh, put, a, put, a, put a better effort together. But guys are excited. We've had a good week. Uh, Got to have a good Friday today, but uh, excited for the challenge. Wesleyan's an outstanding team, and um, so it, it's going to be a challenge, but we're uh, looking forward to it. What have you done to turn the page on a disappointing and, and sort of a bizarre finish uh, last week at Hamilton? Yeah, you know, you... you, you you know, you hate to lose any football game. That one was tough. Give Hamilton a lot of credit. They really, uh, you know, just played harder, longer than we did. And, and um, you know, we didn't, you know, um, certainly as the head coach, you take a lot of responsibility for that. Um, but, you know, we got great kids, resilient kids. And, you know, I, I told them after the game, I mean, this team will be defined, you know, how we respond to the that type of adversity. Um, there's, you know, there's no crying over spilt milk as they say um and so we've been we've had a great energy week guys are excited uh to get back out there and um you know this team has a lot to play for and and so um that's really been it the message is hey let's respond and and uh we'll, we'll see what kind of team we are wesleyan came into last week uh, undefeated and then got beaten pretty well by middlebury so what what uh, kind of team is Wesleyan this year, and who's going to show up this weekend? Oh, I, I, you know, I mean, yeah, they, they, it's a long trip to Middlebury. Uh, Middlebury played extremely well, made some big plays, and um, you know, the 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 score um, was was a little lopsided. But um, Wesleyan's an outstanding football team. They're well coached. I expect them uh, to come in, you know, really excited. It's a little three game, uh, and and this is you know this is a big game for. For, for obviously both programs. So um, they're incredibly talented on both sides of the ball, uh, physical team. Uh, and so we're gonna have to play well and, and minimize mistakes, uh, uh, that's for certain. Expanding on that a little bit further, what will you have to do to uh, stop uh, Wesleyan and, and where do their most dangerous weapons lie? Yeah, so they, you know, they, they do, you know, they've, they've got two quarterbacks. I, I mean, they, they really, uh, you know, Ashton Scott, he, he's the, the number seven is their primary guy, and he's done a nice job as a sophomore throwing the football. He's athletic. They do a nice job running the football. But then number eight, David Estevez comes in as kind of a wildcat running it, but he can throw it. Um, a lot of formations, a lot of motions, a lot of shifting. So it just, you know, it, it forces you to be disciplined, eye discipline. Uh, and, and that type of thing. So we need to contain the run game uh, and, and eliminate big plays in the pass game because they have um, some some real weapons, um, you know, 81, 6, 83, all, all very good players. Uh, number one, uh, you know, just or 81, really, really <clears throat> good, good football players. Uh, <clears throat> so we're going to need to, you know, defensively contain them. And then offensively, they're really physical up front, uh, very quick. Uh, Secondary is athletic, um, and so th they they just do a really good job. And so we're gonna have to make plays and and, and be balanced. And, and we got to do better in the kicking game. I mean, we 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 we, we have to uh, be be more consistent uh, in the kicking game. Um, that's an aspect that that really hurt us last week. Finally, you still have a chance to win a championship with uh, little three games against Wesleyan and obviously Williams at the end of the season. What does the little three mean to this program, and what is what is emphasized about the little three championship? Well, it's still the biggest to me. I mean, it you know it, it and you know certainly the NESCAC championship is 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 a big deal, but you know the little three is the history, um, and you know it, it's really um, you know obviously you talk about. <clears throat> Beating Wesleyan, beating Williams, uh, you're playing for that coveted championship, um, and it's you know it, it you, you, you got to win them both <laughs> to win the thing. So so it's just a 
It, it's a big piece of, of, of the history of Amherst football, and certainly it is a high, high priority for us. And um, But, hey, we're focused on, you know, being a – being the best version of our football team. I don't know if we've done that just yet. Um, and so we're hoping that tomorrow uh, on a great stage, you know, with, with a lot of our alums back, uh, we can put things together. But uh, certainly won't be for a lack of effort. Guys have been working incredibly hard. And so I'm excited to see what we can do on the field on Saturday. All right, Coach. Should be an awesome start to the final three games of the season. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much.